Hey folks, Pyrotaga here, and welcome back to Steamworld Heist, as we gaze into the distance at our forlorn and broken planet. But who cares about that? We've got some scrappers to kill. So, sorry, disassemble. So let's get down there, in the cargo barge, the cargo barge. Um, cavernous hull, bring a long range weaponry. Collect swag and evacuate, no problem. We've got three folks. I still want to bring, ah, uh, well, Valentine is going to get the snipey, blacksmith sniper anyway. It's only tier one. It's not a lot of damage. I think it's going to be in our interest to get Ivan out in the field as well. Now, Ivan can take big bangs. Oh, this is a rare one as well. Um, five to six damage, which is better than the three to four pistol he was using before. Um, and it's an arcing projectile with friendly fire, which means he can shoot things that other people can't get to. Clever. Okay. Um, Ivan also definitely needs the big old knuckle dusters. I'm going to give Valentine some speed boots because he isn't going to get as move get to move as often as the others. He's going to have to sprint and then hold fire, like just sit there and take shots. So. Uh, since Ivan already has an arcing explosive radius projectile and um, Valentine is going to sit back and take pop shots from a distance, I think I should arm, my, I should arm Piper myself um, with the grenade, which is huge damage, my god. Oh, we've got a bunch of new hats as well. I don't know how that's happened. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 we took off a uh, tricorn pirate hat. Gar, a tricorn for the seas. Embrace that timber shivering feeling that only a continental hat can provide. All hands on deck. Yar. And we also got a classic Kushanka. I think. I mean, I really think Ivan would appreciate the Ushanka. So I want to see him out in that. Um, you're happy with your flat cap, I guess. But uh, can we give you, like, sniper goggles? No. If you lose your hat, then you lose your hat. And, and we'll give you something different. Um, what else do you want apart from knuckles? Well, it's possible I'll be sending you into danger, so I might give you some uh, a little bit of extra health as well. But you've already got eight, whereas you've only got six. Maybe, maybe you need the health pack. Actually, Ivan, I've got nothing else for you, buddy. Sorry, you're just gonna have to shoot and punch and blow things up. That's fine. Let's go. Start mission. Oh yeah, your water is reduced. Rules or abort missions above casual difficulty. So losing missions is just a penalty. But you can replay missions as often as you like for extra rewards. Fiddlesticks. The alarm countdown is already active. By the distinct tone, I can tell that turrets will pop out once it reaches zero. Oh. Well that sounds bad. Is that a turret above me there? No, it is not. I will point out the turrets when we find them. Um, let's check out the layout of the ship. Big old belly. Big old observation pod. Up front. It's not that big. Eight turns. I mean, we don't know what we're going to find out here, to be fair. But... It looks manageable. Can everyone get up to the doors at the far end? Yes. So... I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get everyone ready. Uh, Valentine. Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. Ivan, ready to go alone. Valentine with his sprinty sprint. And Piper. I'm going to get Piper up front, ready to go. And she is going to inspire both herself and Valentine, who's going to just sit here. Oh, look at that. Uh, ready to shoot. Who have we got? Four oh, bad boys. And what is this brute with his pipe wrench and shield? He looks like bad news bears. Okay. Ivansky. Valentine. Let's open this door. So Valentine, sniper weapons have the best range and increased critical chance, however you can't shoot after moving. That's fine. What I can do is 5 to 7 damage and maybe even more on top. 
Um, I think it would be worthwhile to shoot this guy in the back of the head. Just so. Oh, for seven damage. Okay, that's great. Ivan does five to six damage. Which, if I aim it right, is going to take out a huge chunk of badness. So, Ivan is going to get into cover? I really have to consider the arc of his weapon. Oh, it's really hard to tell where it's going to go. So, that's a problem. I think it will explode whenever it hits somebody. And this guy at the front is kind of standing in the way. So... I'm not too worried about the shield bash guy. I don't think he's close enough to get up in our grill and kill us. I think if Ivan can get up here and kill maybe these two with a bit of an explode explode. Yep, he did. Also hurt himself a little bit, but that's fine. Um... And that means you can sort out this guy who is getting ready to shoot us. Well, you could get closer and do it. I just don't see the benefit. In fact... Ooh, there's some treasure behind him. Um, yeah, no, you're fine where you are. Uh, I don't want you to get too close in case this guy runs. Uh, this shield bash guy. But I do want you to kill him! <laughs> Boom. Ooh, mend. He repairs himself. Well, that's fun, in a sort of bad way. Now, Ballantyne could kill him. Maybe. Actually, probably can't, because that shield really does cover him very well. Um, Piper is going to kill him. That's what's going to happen. I think. Yeah, 6 to 8, no problem. She's going to get down here, ready to charge the next access hatch. She's going to kill this guy. Just so. <gasps> what a fail. Right. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Valentine is going to get ready to advance. No. If I'm going to do that, let's let's sort this guy out first. This is better work. Yeah. You got him, Ivan. Valentine gets ready to advance. I really want to grab that treasure before I do. But priorities. In fact, Valentine is in a terrible spot there. This is supposed to be a cavernous ship. I think we're about to drop it down into a little corridor that's going to lead into a big chamber right here. Let's see what happens. Valentine, open her up. Ah. <laughs> okay. Piper can't kill him this turn. I think if we open this up, we're going to find a world of hurt down there. Um, oh, turrets! See this little spike directly above uh, Ivan? Yeah, that's a turret. That's going to become bad news later. In about five turns. Um, but we only have this one large, chunky section to deal with. So. Hmm. Do I want to risk just running down there anyway? Getting, like, almost definitely getting shot. And thereby drawing some fire, maybe? I really want Ballantyne in position to sort of look down here next turn. Ivan can not even get very close. Oh, I really set myself up here. I should not have sent him first. That was a foolish thing to do. Fine. Do you know what? If he gets hurt, he gets hurt. It's not the end of the world. Um, Piper. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I just don't see you doing it. Uh, but you are going to grab some treasure. And then come down and guard Valentine. Because you've got more health than he does. Although he does have a health pack. Um, meanwhile, Ivan, you're going to get into position to be able to advance into the next room very quickly. And that's fine. That's enough. 
Uh, you can't use your gun after moving, so I guess we're done. Let's see what this does. Hey, there we go. Right. Do you know what? I'm going to take an extra turn just to sort all this nonsense out. I think it's worth it. And boom! Oh, big hits. Big hits all around. Piper can grab this one. Uh, yeah. And then this one. Ivan can get ready to advance. Only three turns left. To clear out this big chamber and then cope with all the turrets popping out. This might not go so great. Damn it. Can you even see anyone from where you are? You cannot. Okay. But that's the, that's the whole chamber. It's just three guys. Right. Okay. With that in mind. Um, now, there's a solid floor under this treasure here. So I don't think Ivan will be able to do any damage from there. If he comes here, I think he will do lots of damage. He will probably be able to take out this shooty guy, and that's very important. I want the shooty guy dead. Dead, dead, dead. Yes! Just like that. Okay, so now our only dangers are from um, big, big, meaty and healing every turn guys. Ugh, they're a problem. Um, however, their only way up to us is via this ladder. And then they're probably going to have to come up here. So I think Valentine can come here, get set up for one big, brutal shot. And I think Piper is probably going to do the same. In fact, she's going to get ready with the grenade. I wonder how big that... Okay, that's the grenade. Um, sure. Did we leave that treasure behind, by the way? No, we did. We have been collecting it on the way. That's good. That's good. We've not left anything behind. So that means in three turns, when all the turrets pop out, we're not going to be completely screwed. Okay, Piper. Be ready. Come through the door. Please come through the door. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, they don't really move much at all. Um, Ivan. Would you kindly... Uh, hmm. Okay, they really don't move very far at all, so I reckon... God, that's a huge risk. Is it worth it? Probably not. Uh, I think Piper might be the one. Is it really worth sitting here between two barrels just to get one really good shot? Oh, I wasn't looking at Piper. Ah, she can get back here. That's great. Except that then she will she won't be able to hit his head because the trajectory is gonna be through that barrel. That's terrible. Ugh. Oh, but she does have the grenade. Hmm. Right, first things first. Uh, Ivan, I want you to see what you can do here. I think that won't hurt this guy. Maybe it will. Oh, let's experiment. It didn't. Okay, that was worthless. Bad experiment, everyone. <laughs> you failed. Um, Ivan, please take out these bloody barrels. And maybe, in the process, we can get a ricochet that will hurt this guy. Nah. Did I, did I call you Ivan? I'm a Valentine. Um, damn it. Well, can, can we just get a ricochet that hurts him? Maybe. Uh, again, no. Oh, I really screwed the pooch here. I do want to take out these barrels either way. Because they are a big problema. So how about just that? Sure. And then Piper can get down here, very far away from all of this noise. Now, she will be doing 5 to 7. This is plus 1 bonus damage, which is 6 to 8. Not enough to kill anyone. This is definitely killing material. As long as I hit correctly. Hey! And I did 2 damage on the other guy as well. Good job, Piper. He's going to come in. That's great. Oh. Now, 
Piper could smash him right in the back of the head. That would be fun. And I'm all for it. But I need... Oh, wow. He blocks her movement. God, he's a big boy. Isn't he? um, but next turn, the turret's going to come out. And we need to get this treasure, whatever's in here. So, Valentine, firstly, is going to bop him on the nog. Not enough. But then Ivan will finish him off. Boom. Maybe hurt Valentine in the process a little bit. Sorry. And then... Piper can rapidly advance. Okay. Hopefully this is our escape hatch. Turrets. Turrets everywhere. Oh dear. There are a number of them. Uh, I think this turret that's just opening now, that can't see anybody from where it is. But it, yeah. So that's safe. This one up here, problem. But not a problem that can't be solved with a bullet. Um, hyper... Oh my god. Piper is going to get shot because she wants that hat so badly. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just how it is. Um, Valentine. Valentine's going to take out this one. That's what he's for. Now, there was a turret that opened up somewhere around here, wasn't there? Well, I don't see it. There's two more ready to pop up there. Was it just the two? It might be in dense. Yeah, whatever. Um, do I think Ivan can sort out this guy? Yeah, I think he can. Go on, do it. Oh, missed! Oh, damn it. That was terrible. Okay, fine, shoot. That's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Just don't care. I do care about this hat. You are totally awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, Ivan, get down here in order to destroy this thing. Before you do, Valentine's going to move. He's not got anything useful to do where he is. And he just needs to grab this treasure. That frees Ivan up to kill this turret. Wonderful. And Valentine... I mean, I'm guessing this is our escape hatch down here. It certainly feels like the most significant hatch. So I'm going to get ready to escape. We still need to collect this treasure before we do. Yes, that is our escape. As far as I'm aware, we've collected everything. Uh, let's check the map. Just two turrets left. Yeah, we're out. Amazing. Good job, everyone. So, the new boys have proved themselves. Uh, we've got our up and close and all big burly bruiser and our cool, calm, collected, composed and very careful sniper. We've also got another Frontier Shorty. An uncommon hat. A regal and heavy burden to bear in more ways than one. Noblesse obligé. Yes. It did mean getting shot. It was worth it. I got a crown. Finally. Ooh. Frontier Thumper Mark 2. 5 to 6 damage. I want to make a complaint about this wider type of explosion, said no one. Ever. Okay, so this does medium damage area as opposed to the usual small. Still friendly fire, still an arcing projectile, still. So 5 to 6 damage. I can't remember exactly how much uh, our Big Bang does. Oh, definitely going to get some skills up here. Ivan, what can be said of you except that you are now enrageable. Plus two bonus damage. Heck yeah. And he's got a lot of health, so he's he can take it as well. And that's what I was talking about. If sentries don't move before shooting, they deal plus one bonus damage. Does not work in melee. So, he's a sentry. He's good at just sitting there and taking people out. I like it. However, mobility is really important when you've got alarms going off. and So I, I don't know that I'm going to be bringing them out too much. Maybe it's just like a backup. What say you, Ivan? With your very fine Ushanka. Ivansky has been helping Seabrush, getting salty joints moving again. A well-trimmed body will give better mood to sulky Seabot, yes? That's nice of you, Bogdan. He could really use some cheering up. Yar! 
Bogdan. I love that name. I work with a guy called Bogdan. Decent carpenter. Okay. We have 22 reputation. That means we can go to the Astro Lawn. Oops. A well kept lawn on an inexplicably difficult to pass space rock. The old cowbot caring for it looks armed and grumpy. Best to keep off the grass. A well groomed lawn is a pure pride for its owner. Good thing we've mowed down all those scrappers. And what does that give us but the backwater bodega? Hmm, no sign or advertising, but it looks like some kind of store. Whoever's running it has chosen an obscure approach on how to attract customers. We're looking at some choice equipment here, I guarantee. Ooh, Nana! Don't let them buy something before you leave! Oh, Nana. Angry bot. Ooh. Expensive stuff. So the rusty light armor gives us plus one health, but doesn't give us any drawbacks, which is nice. Sushi sidearm. <gasps> I want it. That's a free action. Shoot a bone that deals three damage and pierces characters. Two uses permission. So, yeah, we want that. We need 45 um, reputation in order to get it. But yeah, we want that. Let's have a large storage unit available. And the headhunter, 2400. Six damage, long range sniper. Plus four critical. Plus four. This thing can do 10 damage. 11 in the hands of a sniper. Oh my god. The letters B, A, M are etched on the stock. Well, I mean, that's going to be the one for, um, that's probably going to be tier three. That, that'll be like the last weapon that uh, Valentine ever needs, I reckon. But we can't afford anything in there just yet. So, good stuff, but maybe for another time. Um, right, that mission wasn't as hard as it seemed to imply that it would be. Uh, we have a Lone Ranger mission. This tiny vessel should be a one-bot mission. The rest of the crew can put their feet up, or do whatever it is Wonky does while the crew heists away. Amazing. So this is... from. This looks like a mission that you can repeat and repeat for when you really want to get one bot up to, up to skill very fast. Um, but this is going to be our way forward, the turret plant. A competent captain and a courageous crew should take out this scrapper turret plant. Having fewer turrets around is never a bad idea, and destroying the plant's generator should be a breeze. Okay, turrets galore. This place scares me. Let's try it next time. Bye!